Morning. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. No problem. How's it going? Who's that behind you? That is uh, Maude Sharon, Canadian gold medalist in women's weightlifting. What weight class? 64, 67 kilos, I think, something like that. And is that is that the weight is that the weight of the weightlifter or yeah, I think so. So she lift that lift, the gold medal lift was 131 kilos, I think. What so more that? than more than or around double her weight. My god, that's crazy. So you, you have two legs, right? First yeah. one, satire. Second one is the one I watched yesterday. And it was one of those videos that started off, I was kind of going, oh, Jesus, I don't understand what's happening. By, um, by the moment I understood what was happening, I rewound back and had to watch it again. It was one of those videos where you kind of go, oh, my God, I never thought of this. So, hey, hey. So I, was just, I was just pasting the link into a browsing window so I don't... Okay. Yeah. So the, the the video that I shared with you, and uh, I'm shamelessly hold on. Let's let me first ask you, how are you? What happened yesterday? I'm good. Um, okay, moving on. <laughs> no, I had a I had a call with my coaching peer from El Paso, Texas. And so, well, I I'd offered he he'd asked me. I think I told you last week. He'd asked me to look at his website and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I, I suggested let's do a zoom call and I, he can, I can ask him some questions like an interview style thing Yep. and then, and then I'll record it and then I'll edit it together and send it to him. Then he can put those videos on his site. So that's, that's the call we had yesterday, which, uh, which went pretty good. All things considered, I still got some editing to do on that. And then I did my Thursday thought video. That's pretty much all I got done yesterday i was tired in the afternoon i had a little hour and a half nap which was nice i think the lack of sleep from camping and stuff caught up to me yeah uh, the good thing is that you can't afford to take an hour nap mm-hmm. and no one's going to blink an eye yeah that was good. Uh, but i didn't really do much of any i didn't get a chance to look up jarvis or any of the other stuff we talked about yesterday mm-hmm. So that video is a continuation of that subject. Okay. I have 11, 12 actually, new tools that that video introduced. Well, let's call it 11. So the video is, um, I'm guessing, I don't know who's like, who's leading that channel or what the channel is all about. The objective of the video was, how do you write a book? How do you write and put, publish your book, let's say, on Amazon Kindle? And pretty much with, um, with a week to spare, you can be an author. In fact, I would argue that you should be an author. I would agree. Wow. Reaction is the, <laughs> the, the, the feedback, the emotional response is just overwhelming. I'll give I you know. a chance to come down for a second. Let me, let me collect myself. Yeah, collect, me, collect yourself. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, this, see, and this person wants to be your coach. How do you well, feel? I feel I'm dying. Mm-hmm. That's good. What else? Can I'm you in do? the face of adversity. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the point being is... Because you have, and by the way, I'm, I'm beginning. I'm beginning to sense that um, with all this GP three, um, GP, I think it's GP three, or there might be three letters. That's the that is the library of um, of reference that this new uh, version of uh, machine learning is based on. Yeah. And it's substantially it's substantially expanded. It's it's one of those it's one of those massive things. This is why how copy.ai, how Jarvis.ai, um, every every other thing is working right now. Right. So the thing is, it's 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 doing such a good job of writing 
that those who are using it are fundamentally using just that. So what, what this article, the way I landed on this video, sorry, it was uh, I was trying to understand that Surfers uh, SEO dot AI and its yeah. uh, collaboration. So what, what these two gentlemen are talking about is they're talking about, okay, let's say you want to be an authority or seem to be an authority in a particular field, which yeah. is useful in many ways. And I told you about this before, you know, that if you have a book on Amazon, yeah, just the weight of Amazon's platform, uh, it's ranking. If somebody Googles your last name or yeah. Greg Fisher or team UIP, and you have a book on Amazon, yeah. that's going to come up on the first page. Yeah. And that's like, Oh shit, he wrote the book. He yeah. literally wrote the book on the subject. Yeah. He must know something. But many people don't know how to write books or have no inclination of writing books because it's time consuming, it requires research, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of research has been done for you. Yeah. And that's kind of the key that they're talking about. But fundamentally, where do you start? Like what's like literally there's a blank page. Where do you start? What are the words that you're putting on a page? Yeah. Okay, forget it. What is the title of your book? And then they're talking about all of the tools that make those questions disappear. They're talking about what is the most, um, what is the title that's likely going to be searched by people? Yeah. If, if there is a title of that book, what are the variations of that title? Then they talk about, yes, they talk about the keywords and questions that people ask. They talk about um, how to rank high in Quora. The, the hack that it's, it's one of those things. It's once you know it, it's, it's, it's again, once you know it, you're going to go like, damn, of course, that is amazing. So, so they're using little plugins and tools. So there's a plugin that allows you to go to Quora, switch to the questions asked, and yeah. then click that Chrome plugin and it downloads all of the questions into Excel with when they've been posted and how many people answered that question. What's the hack? Pick all the questions that have zero answers. Yeah. Take that question, put it in Jarvis.ai. You know what's going to happen? It's going to write an answer. It's not going to be extensive, maybe a paragraph, maybe two paragraphs. You can expand on it, but that yeah. is enough for an answer on Quora. And then you put it in Quora. Guess what your, uh, guess what your description, like title, I don't know, uh, signature is going to look like. Yeah. Greg Fisher. Uh, coach that allows you to reach your potential, come in the face of adversity, renowned author with a book available on Amazon. Yeah. Fuck. Do you know why answering a question that nobody else answers is valuable? Because you're number one. Yeah. You're number one on that answer. You're, you're the first thing that people are going to see when they're going to do go through the same thing. It's just, it's just how you answer. You, you don't have to know the answer. You just, you just, Pick a topic, and within that topic, you begin answering and let the AI AI do the research for you, essentially. Yeah. Funny enough, it's all brand new content. It's not plagiarized. You will not find it elsewhere in the world. This is you. Well, yeah. technically, computer. Yeah. So you start going through this. Okay, good. So now you'll be starting to build your authority. God damn you, Logitech. <laughs> Okay, let's let's say I'm using a filter. So for for you know your topic. Let's say you even know the like a title of your book. What's yeah. the structure of your book? What's your opening paragraph? Like what are you gonna what are you gonna give your AI assistant to go off of? Yeah. Sorry, man. This this, this really bothers me. It just uh, adjusted back. Adjust adjusted back. Okay. There's um, there's a setting for auto. Um, so Zoom is using Logitech's hardware and software, and Logitech software sometimes conflicts with all of these applications, which is why. If anyway, here's the thing. Remember, I told you about Amazon and being able to see uh, the uh, table of contents for any book. Yeah. And usually being able to read the first kind of intro paragraph. That's pretty much all you need. Yeah. WikiHow is a good source of all of that stuff. 
Um, and then I'm not going to go, you need to watch the video. It is an hour long. Uh, the 45 minutes of content is well worth it. The gentleman yeah. who's actually showing these tools is going at a massively fast clip, that, which is why like, first it makes absolutely no sense what they're talking about. And then yeah. you rewind back and you kind of go like, oh my God, I never knew this existed. Yeah. Um, yeah. So essentially they're telling you where to get the outline, what your, um, what your structure of the book should be, how you should divide it, and then where to get those entry paragraphs how to ask the AI to rewrite those uh, entry-level paragraphs, and then yeah. how to start building the long-form content on it. Obviously, your book is not going to be as good as somebody else's, but does it need to be? Yeah. No, it needs to build authority. That's the thing. Yeah. They're talking about maybe you build series of books. So it's not one 300 or 500-page book. No, maybe it's a 100-page book, yeah. part one. Very practical advice on leadership for teams, which leads to part two. Google, uh, sorry, Amazon apparently right now allows you to subscribe to books. Yeah. So people, people publish it, and you and you get the next version. There are apps that allow you to understand what Amazon. Uh, it's it's a paid plugin. It scrapes Amazon and allows you to know what's happening on the platform, which products to sell affiliate market for. It's like gives you stats. It's almost, it's not the back end, obviously, because yeah. that would never happen. Amazon never shares the data. But, but they do it. Not only that, they talk about how in preparing the book, you can. Um, you can convert it into podcast, uh, videos, everything we talked about, everything yeah. that we don't do. But one caveat, it is pragmatically focused on for uh, highest ranking in searches. So this is not random text and it might not be written as the perfect free flowing um, prose, yeah. but it'll rank, it'll bloody rank. So there are other tools uh, that uh, mimic surfer seo.ai, uh, sorry, mimic, uh, they do almost the same thing. So surfers, uh, surfers claim to fame is they've took everything that's happening and put it into one platform, allowing you to just stick to that one platform. So what I'm doing right now, oh yes. <laughs> and in the process, I picked out a wonderful, such an easy, and I've tried many of these tools, such yeah. an easy to use scraping tool. Mwah. So today, God willing, I'm going to be launching a clone of a business for sale website. Nice. I have, I have all of the listings in my Excel file. And I have how many of them? See this? Yeah. Oh, it's so nice to work in Excel. I have 191 and I have, uh, there was a one glitch and I think I have another 60 in a different one. Look at this, everything. And I found out a plugin for a uh, plugin and a theme for WordPress that allows you to create a classified directory and monetize it. Yeah. And because it's WordPress, I'm going to build a blog on buy, sell businesses, and then I'm going to subscribe. Well, at least that's what that's, that's the plan. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to run the numbers in terms of a budget. I'm trying to be more, um, how should they say it? Business focused with this in, endeavor, because this is, this is really about two things, selling services. And I need to identify those services, which is um, kind of the, long lead into the conversation that I wanted to have with you. Yeah. And uh, so I want to attract listings. I want to have people list and I want to have people and I, and I will try to rank. This is, this is kind of the test. It will yeah. cost me a hundred, 200 bucks a month to subscribe to both convert uh, Jarvis.ai, maybe more about 250 a month to subscribe yeah. to both conversion.ai but I can get away with a, like a, I think a trial on surfer SEO. Yeah. So I have a month to generate content. And, and the only thing that's holding me back is I know I'm going to go camping next week. And then I'm yeah. going to go on uh, into the cottage, the like 
two weeks after. So yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to make sure that I'm I'm using the investment wisely and I'm not losing the trial. Of the, yeah. Uh, but the thought is, if it's true, and uh, the only way to test it is to um, the only way to know is to use it. Yeah. If it's true that I can write high-ranking articles using AI, knowing what to write, then Surfer SEO, I go in and I plug in something like um, how to sell a business or how to buy a business. It'll give me clusters on that topic. Each one of those clusters turns into a long form article, which puts uh, creates the basis of my blog being published every single week. If it's true, then my page, my website is going to rank very high. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I don't know. My mind's a little bit blown, to be honest. Well, because I, it, 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 it goes, I mean, so I want to use it as an experiment before just jumping head in because I am immediately thinking, if this is true, if you can indeed play to what Google wants you to do, like, you know, you're giving a manual of what you need to rank high organically. Yeah. And Natalie's business should not, like, wait. Natalie's business is even easier because a lot of her articles, if you know the subject, yeah. The intro lines, the beginning, the, the jump off point for AI to start writing off is yeah. available in PLR mode. Yeah. Remember I told you I downloaded 500 different articles, yeah. winky dinky 400 word articles, which are like, eh, so, so yeah. I can blow them up to be 5,000 word articles in a matter of a couple of hours and just playing with uh, yeah. AI. Makes me wonder how much stuff on PLR is actually AI generated. Um, that is a brilliant thought. Wait, hold on. That is a brilliant, brilliant thought. I would, ima I would imagine a lot, but then, then I'm, I'm pausing to think, why am I not doing it? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me, given everything you've just said and all the content that they create? Well, hold on. This technology is probably maximum a year old. Yeah. And the refinements just came this year. So this, this, this version of uh, assisted writing has not been around uh, for more than a year. Yeah. Hold on. Let, me just, let me just take a look. I'm not sharing. Am I? No. Mm. It's GPT-3. Mm. Holy shit. I'm just trying to see when uh, so GPT-3 in Wiki Open.ai, blah, blah, blah. Initial release in beta was June 11th, 2020. Wow. Oh. So, buddy, this is a year old only. So, like... You know that date you that's going to that's gonna go down in history is the, the date when uh, Skynet humanity, started. Yeah, humanity's <laughs> dying. But, but that's... You, you, but you're absolutely right. Why wouldn't we create content, PLR content? Yeah. Well, if, if you think about everything you said, you could create um, some kind of PLR site focused on answering all those questions that you scrape that have zero responses. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I'm just wondering, I'm just thinking how to put all the dots together. Yeah, I haven't thought about this, but um, I, I wrote this down. 
on the surface, it sounds like you can create very high quality content published, kind of like what um, the PLR site that I'm unstoppable PLR, like they publish very good content. Yeah. Extensive content that you can use. There's only one question that the more people get wind of this. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. You need a subscription to this and the subscription is not cheap. Yeah. But the, the same time, um, like my subscription to Unstoppable PLR was like $39.99. Yeah. And I had access, like I had four credits. Yeah. And I could download anything that I wanted to within those four credits. Like two credits was for the premium package. <sighs> yeah. But think about it like just, I'm just thinking out loud now, but like if you think about like your nutritionist segment, um, mm -hmm. my coaching peer segment, uh, real estate segment, I don't know, like you can come up with a bunch of things that we've already dabbled in. Mm -hmm. Um everyone working in all those fields is constantly looking for content. Yes. So it's almost, I just am envisioning like, you know, you're, you're a PLR thing that targets those audiences and they can subscribe or buy ad hoc, or I don't know how you do it, but articles, um, all kinds of stuff, I guess, like whatever you generate. Yeah, you could actually, and you could make it. You could you can also put a scarcity play into into this. So one of the things that um, the problem with PLR when you buy it is yeah. you don't know how many other people have already bought it. Yeah, and who's been scrupulous or unscrupulous enough to um, change it? Yeah. So some of the PLR sites that I've seen uh, on some of the subjects, what they do is they create. They tell you when it was released and they tell you how many copies they, let's say they, they allow a thousand sales. So yeah. each copy is, I don't know, 17 bucks yeah. and they allow a thousand sales. Yeah. And that's how they control and create a uh, value for the, for their members, which means you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. You could definitely do that. I'm wondering if, if, is there a, uh, an opportunity in this gap in the space between getting raw PLR and customizing it for your own business, right? So I know it's it's not difficult. Like when you think about the uh, I forget the name of the tool you were using um, to put like your your own logos and um, images and things, but like. Yeah, there's a huge segment of the population can they can easily do that all themselves. But there's also there's a much bigger segment of the population I think that that that's even too techy. Yeah. For. Yeah. That like I think of your your neighbor, right? Like if, if he yeah, has it's not too techy. There's a there's a certain segment of population that would never be excited by the things that you and I find exciting. Yeah. But if, but if videos, you playing you, said you want content for you want content for your blog or your website, yeah. Okay, here's here it is in its raw form. You still have to manipulate it, but here for this price, you know you can give us your your font, your logo, whatever it is that's consistent with your branding, and you can get the content tailored to your yeah the smart mockups done for you, yeah, all of that stuff exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that then, can be that can be that can be just a different tier of subscription. Yeah. And then I, I'm just thinking this out loud. Then, then you go one step further and you say, uh, for, for another fee, we'll actually schedule all your posts for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, and then you go out to the Philippines and for $6 an hour, you hire a person who does all of the like, rinky dinky modifications. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure people are already doing stuff like that, but. Uh, well, have you seen it? I don't know. I mean, that's, <laughs> but that's the, that's we, we the may have seen, we may be seeing it every day. <laughs> well, you want to want to hear one funny thing that of something that I did see yesterday in my Instagram feed mm -hmm. was an ad for that tequila that we were, you were looking at yesterday from on your, on that uh, mm. discovery website. Don Julio. Yeah. So I, I, I never looked at that. Like it was 
only on this channel. I suppose I did post the video in my YouTube, so I don't know if that somewhere, but it's like, wait a minute, because I was never, I never actually talked or looked at, <laughs> looked at that on my own stuff. And all of a sudden I get, I'm getting ads for this. Yeah. And I just find it funny because I don't, I've never bought tequila. I, I don't drink tequila. And the only time it came up was yesterday. And all of a sudden uh, I got an uh, ad. You're, well, how so, close is your phone to your computer? My cell phone? Yeah. The cell phone? Yeah, that, that cell phone. <laughs> I mean, it's an Apple, so I, 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 I might have more trust in Apple, but come on, yeah. who am I kidding? Do you have Chrome installed on it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's... No, the, the, the nuance of the fact that people believe, still believe that uh, their devices are not listening when they're not asking them to listen is, is a myth. And it's been disproven so many times. Yeah. In fact, none of the assistants, nor, not Siri, not um, Android assistant, not, um, what is it? Who else is there? Like Microsoft. Um, Cortana. Yeah. None of them can function without constantly picking up sounds. Yeah. That's why they will, they will not know when you're saying things. So when people say, oh, yeah, no, it's not listening. I didn't say the magic word. You're naive. It's, yeah. it's just... That level of naivete is, is just so, on the one hand, it's so cute. And on the other hand, so disarming in its stupidity that it's gonna, it is listening to you. It cannot function otherwise. Yeah. So yeah, and, and it is being used in ads. Sometimes like the, the fact that you've never drank tequila. So it means that the processing of the, our conversation was in absence of uh, like a full view of you as a customer. Yeah. Yeah, I've had I've had many many of my uh, like friends and fellow neighbors like talk about having a odd conversation, oddball conversations, only to be served ads on the yeah. subject afterwards. Yeah, interesting. But that's it's just the nature of the world. Hold on. Yeah. So one, I never thought about what you said, but now that I'm I'm processing it, I am seeing a potential there. Mm -hmm. I am definitely seeing a potential in um, in creating a custom PLR package. But um, let's just let's just park that for a minute because it's yeah. it's a very very interesting thought. But then going back to your coaching, your coaching is uh, is one a perfectly evergreen field. Yeah. It does not have technical uh, or um, like, for example, if you were to create a website on technology, because I was I was immediately going, oh, I, I want to do this niche about speakers and headphones. Yeah. But that technology changes all the time. So you yeah. can't do a comparison site and then just leave it. Yeah. Doing a leadership article, it's always going to be a leadership article. Yeah. So you can create an environment where Team UIP organically lifts to the top of Google ranking because you've covered all of the subjects that people find most attractive. Yeah. And again, for folks that might be watching this and uh, trying to learn from this exciting adventure, what, what you're seeing right now is Greg's expression. That's, that's expression of an in, incredible excitement and um, <laughs> desire to conquer the world. Don't, don't mistake that for complete... Um, it's deep. It's deep con uh, contemplating. Deep like contemplation, that. yeah, exactly. Uh, Which is why he's using animated figurines instead of himself. That's right. I used to say a cardboard cutout of me would suffice. Like people wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> well, that's that's the other thing. There are actually uh, I'm, I'm finding more and more tools. There was the one application which I I should write all of this down because you never find it afterwards. Uh, they have, I think. 10 or 12 different voices yeah. uh, that do um, over, essentially over them. Yeah. So it's fantastic. And it's, it's good professional male, female voices. So you can create, if you think about it, if you wanted to create an aura of a consulting business, yeah. you can technically create an impression that you have an office with 10 staff. Yeah. 
never having an office with 10 yeah. staff. Basically, so why am I excited about this? Why this kind of got my gears going is, um, so the investment, that, the investment that's required is really, oh, the investments required is really, let's say uh, $250 Canadian a month for these two tools for their top versions. Yeah. Because the boss mode is what you want. That's the long form writer in uh, Jarvis.ai. Question for you. Um, so I've been looking at hosting uh, uh, hosting options on uh, WordPress and all of that can be done, but you have an unlimited number of sites that you can build, right? On Kajabi? Um, I have unlimited pages. No, pages is not. I'm interested in domains. Um, no, I'm just looking at one on the package I'm on is one website. Oh, okay. So, so that, that's not very much different. No. That's okay. And even if I go to the pro package, it's, uh, it's only three websites. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm also looking at my uh, hosting, so I'm probably going to have to go to, um, to a slight, another website. So I'm using, I'm using two, I have one domain plus two add-on domains. So I'm yeah. using all three of them right now, but I'm going to kill nutrition business because that's the GD. Yeah, that's going to, that's gone. But the profitable nutritionist? Is that no? the, profitable oh, the profitable nutritionist never got its own domain. It was oh, supposed okay. to live on solo business. I see. But the reason is I need to buy I need to buy a domain because one of the things in SEO is if you have your keywords, so, um, and if you buy this ahead of me, I am going to murder you because I know where you live. Um, what do you think about this? Share screen. You'll have to blur this out. Huh? You'll have to blur it out on your editing. Um, you know what, if I'm going to buy this, I'm going to buy this today. All right. And if I can't get it, so be it. I'm going to get an org. But Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. Nice. So the point is, if you can have your domain, your domain name with the keywords that you're trying to rank for, yeah. it's it's added bonus in terms of uh, your score, hmm. which is why you never want to have uh, a domain like I've done on solo business, which is an aggregation of all sorts of different stuff. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that goes for you too. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, when we started getting organic traffic was never even a contemplation. So. No, it wasn't. No, uh, we're not, we shouldn't be apologizing. I mean, you live and learn, but it's, it's just interesting. It's just interesting how, yeah, how this, It's just interesting. All right. Well, I'll watch this video today. Do you, did you come across any questions yet that you're looking at? Or are you just going to focus on your business listing page? For, for Quora? Yeah. No, I, 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 I haven't done it. I was just looking. I was just absorbing some of the stuff that, uh, that they were showing. Uh, yeah. It's... Um, it's yeah it, um, it it blew my mind just maybe in the same way when i first saw what camtasia could do it's yeah. just the the ease with which you could do certain things yeah and um yeah it's 
it's interesting. It's 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 interesting that it did not come across. It's 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 fantastic. It's 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 one of those good videos where you've learned more than you expected for. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'll definitely give it a watch. And I'll try to get the excitement level up for Monday. Or are we doing a call on Monday? Monday's a long weekend. Um, I don't think I'm, I, I think I'm not going anywhere. So, uh, tentatively, yes. Okay. If something I'll, changes, I'll, let me know. But, yep. And then we'll just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Are you and back the following Monday? I'm back. Yes. I think I'm back on a Sunday, I, I believe. Okay. All right. Yep. Cool. Anyway, but hold on, before we sign off, and I know it's 947 already, um, here's, the, here's the question I did want to ask you is, so what are your thoughts on what kind of services could a company offer alongside uh, a listing, a classified directory for new businesses or for buying and selling businesses? Um, I don't know. I mean, I suppose you, uh, you want to target either the buyer or the seller. So, um, I mean, for the buyer, it would be stuff around getting your business started on the right foot. Mm -hmm. Starting, you know, you could talk about business culture, leadership, um, you know, different structures or mechanisms in place, technology, and yeah, you could sell. actually do uh, you could do affiliate links for like a, uh, accounting software. Yeah, yeah, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, how to borrow money. <laughs> Um, and then for the seller, I don't know, maybe it's uh, how to make your business attractive. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm just thinking about it in the context of like if you, you use real estate as a metaphor, right? Like when you're selling your home, there's certain things like I got a whole course about the stuff you would do to, to get your home ready. Yep. There's got to be an equivalent of that to how do you get your business ready for sale? Um, yeah, what I think what I'm thinking is I need to do is I need to first see if it works. Yeah. And then solicit and look at other because it would be great if you could create a funnel off selling a course. Yeah. Like uh, do a JV with somebody who's doing something about new businesses. Yeah. And there's there's not a problem to do a to do something like that. Yeah, I'm just thinking too. Like, I mean, you're the audience that's going there to buy businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, certainly some of them would be going there specifically to look for specific businesses, but some people are just going like, I just know okay. I want to. I just want to get into business. I just want to. So, is there, you know how to get it, start your own business, uh, how to start an online business. Like there might be, you know, that's a, a warmed up audience for new business ideas. I mean, ultimately they are going on there to figure out how do I make money? And one of the ways to buy an existing business. Yep. Um, I don't know. But um, what I'm what I'm thinking is, either of these ideas, coaching, real estate, yeah. um, all of that stuff, all of all of those ideas um, have a model around them that's very much replicable. Yeah. And this is this is kind of going back to the ideal of what you said in the beginning is, neither you or I wanted to be hands-on involved. Yeah. 
neither you or I wanted to do these beta tests or coaching calls or whatnot. We wanted to set, set something up and then have it sell. Yeah. That's the ideal. Yeah. And what I'm seeing is because this is not something that uh, requires, um, to me, niches stop being, uh, oh, I like this. I'm interested in this. Sure. It's good to be interested in that. But you don't have to be nearly the expert that you need because the process behind the scenes is what's happening is um, it's, it's, it's repetitive, yeah. uh, repetitive, replicable. And all I need to do to verify is whether or not it works. Yeah. How will you know? Try. Like if you set up the business list and you'll just know based on traffic you're getting. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Look, I'm going to be, I'm going to be launching a brand new domain, a brand new, fresh website. And I'm trying to minimize uh, the investment that I'm making and the cost. So I found, I found a template and uh, yeah. for, for WordPress. So I'm going to, I'm going to tighten it up as much as I can. That's why I'm trying to run yeah. the numbers, but um I'm going to give myself a runway of, let's say, a uh, couple of months and just going to be, I'll, I'll, I'll create a data studio uh, dashboard just to make sure that I'm monitoring traffic religiously every morning yeah. and just seeing what's happening. Because if, if, if it does play into what Google's search wants you to provide to the audience, yeah. they're saying that I, I told you, results that they are quoting are <sighs> seem improbable. Let's put yeah. it this way. Yeah. The only way to know. Unfathomable. Huh? Unfathomable. Yeah. So, so hold on. Here's, here's what I also want to ask you. Want to jump into this game or are you still uh, insisting on continuing down the path that you need to go? Oh, hold on. But you have Joanne's already business. So you're already tied up there. Yeah. Okay. It, it doesn't preclude me from doing more stuff. <laughs> One thing that I liked about, uh, although I ended up doing most of the work on the technical side of um, the app, it still was hugely beneficial to be able to review all of the steps every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we can do it. Regardless of my level of involvement, we can still do that. By the way, we did spend some money on um, both the, um, the app you spend the money on, uh, the, um, the Zapier. We yeah. never squared off our uh, finances. Yeah. Um, I know I got my MasterCard bill, so we can uh, we can look at that on Monday if you want. Yeah. So what what I'm what I'm saying uh, what I'm thinking is um, try see if it works, and then you can we can create properties on different subjects. And yeah. just create an SOP of how you go about generating content. Yeah. And what would be a good, like, like uh, to be able to see what, what's a good level of content. Sounds good. I got to watch this video. You have to watch this video. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you a bunch of ideas. At the very least, Greg, there's nothing stopping you from writing a book on coaching in 2022. Right. I'm doing it. But PLR, oh man, how did I not think about that? All right, I gotta run to the boys' room, so let's Go. call. Huh? Go run to the boys' room. And come back. Well, yeah, if that's fine. That's fine. I just give me two minutes then. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, it's interesting. It's it's very interesting. Oh, did you ever get paid for Canva? 
I did not. No, not yet. I have not. I have not seen a single dollar. Because oh, I got charged finally by Canva on the pro plan. Yeah, one hundred and fifty dollars. That's a year or a month. A year. Oh, it wouldn't make sense for it. That's yeah, it. But it's like twelve dollars so. a month. Ten dollars a month. I think that's what it was. But uh, I used your link because I, I changed from my one address to the new address and used your link for it. So well, maybe, uh, uh, maybe it waits till after the refund period or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Actually, that, that might be the case. I'll keep, I'll keep an eye out for it. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it in any of my dashboards or I've received any communication about it anyway. No, I'm just looking for because there's got to be there's got to be a promo code that they would use to uh, sell, but I'm not seeing anything. Um, yeah, so uh, that's 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 uh, I, I'm just I'm just thinking that it might be might be beneficial to do that that way. Anyway, so here's 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 the thought: is um, maybe there's a video out there that uh, talks about how to identify niches, yeah, uh, in much the same way, in in much like programmatic way, uh, rather than just sticking a finger up and seeing what works. My hope is um, seeing the results uh, and if the results live up to the hype uh, that people are purporting, yeah. then you can set up a number of properties that live in there, each in its individual niche and do whatever the heck they need to do. You, the content creation can take up two months out of a year. Yeah. It, it, does, it does require finesse. It does require like just... Clicking buttons, rereading text, and doing all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Taking images, if if anything, just actually posting it, making sure that like you, you remember that um, um, software I, I talked about, missing letter, that takes your WordPress posts and then feeds them into your social media over the yeah. course of a year, like automatically. Yeah. So all of all of that, all of that um, has to be done. But if you if, if if you can imagine doing it across a couple of things, um, I'm not even sure why I, I would need you. But it, it was just it's just it's just easier when you have help and you have somebody who's doing the same thing yeah. that you can like you bugger off for a while, but you know that something somebody's keeping a watchful eye on it. Yeah. Again, again, this is this is that uh, this is that. <laughs> It's funny. So if you watch the lull videos, uh, if I, I, I'm not going to watch those videos, but I remember how it feels to be in a lull. So yeah. this is that early, early, haven't tried anything, but uh, still excited about it, exuberance. Like, yeah. it's funny how, how many times I've been here already over the past seven months. Yeah. Well, that's the power of a new idea. But at least it jives with the original intent of not being hands-on. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Any thoughts, any immediate thoughts, anything that comes to mind, anything that's similar to the level of gold as creating PLR? I don't know I'll if I put you on the spot. I'm not sure I understand what you're asking. Well, that what you said about creating PLR, I didn't think about it, but it seems like now that you said it, it feels like yeah. damn, it's it's on the surface. It's it's why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. But I didn't think about that. Like all of self-help PLR. 
all of that stuff. Oh, you're frozen. I'm just gonna pause.